Good morning. All right, I know you can do better than that. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Welcome to the Hampton City Schools Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I'm Diana Galata, Executive Director of Public Relations and Marketing, and I'm so proud to serve as your MC today. I had the pleasure of meeting many of you when you came in today and did such a great job on our red carpet outside in front of the camera. This is one of my favorite events of the year because we are celebrating the role models in each of our schools. Congratulations to each and every one of you for your selection as Citizen of the Month. Your hard work has paid off and we are honored to recognize you today. I'm very pleased to recognize, I used to call him our new superintendent, but he's not so new anymore. He's been here about seven months, so he's going to have to lose the new. I'm sorry, but our wonderful superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Smith. Morning. Good morning. Oh, great. Uh, what a great audience we have then. So uh, it is absolutely a pleasure for me to extend greetings to you this morning. I thought I'd start off by asking you to join in with me as we say a couple things together. Let's say it together. Um, good, morning. good morning. I am excited, I am excited. To, be to be here. Wonderful. I thought I'd also ask you to join in with me in saying good, good. better, best. Never let, it rest Never let it rest until you're good, good. is better, better, and you're better, and you're better. is your best. Is your best. Give yourselves a round of applause. Great job. <laughs> Again, good morning. As citizens of the month, you represent the very best of your schools. Uh, you were selected based on scholarship, character, the respect and courtesy uh, that you show toward others, responsibility, and sportsmanship as well. You are indeed a leader, and other students look to you as role models, and so we want to offer to you our very best and to say that we are proud of you, and we look forward to all of the many wonderful things that will continue to happen as you go forth and um, represent Hampton City Public Schools. As we look out today, we recognize that um, our future is very bright. Uh, because of you. And so, again, give yourselves a round of applause and know that we're proud of you. Thank you so very much. At this time, it is my pleasure uh, now and honor uh, to recognize the chair of our school board, Mrs. Martha Mugler. Will you please join me as we ask Mrs. Mugler to come forward, please? Thank you, Dr. Smith, and good morning t again to everyone. Um, it is my distinct pleasure on behalf of the school board to um, bring you good greetings and congratulate each of you um, that are honored here today at our luncheon. Um, I do have some of my fellow board members are here today, and I'd like um, for you to join me in, in um, thanking them for joining us today. Our um, school board member, Phyllis Henry, is here. A Mr. Dave Pearson, our Vice Chairman, and Mrs. Monica Smith is also with us today. So again, on behalf of the school board, we, we are very proud of you all as, um, as uh, you've been recognized as good citizens in your own school communities, and, we'll, and we thank you for setting such a good example for other students in your schools. Um, we are um, very uh, lucky to have the sponsorship of um, a great group. Uh, Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is sponsoring today's luncheon, and we want to thank them very much for sponsoring, because if, with, without their generosity, we couldn't uh, have such a lovely luncheon for our, our, our good citizens. So we want to thank Anthem. And um, today, Katrina Hughes with Anthem Blue Cross is here, and she has a few words to share with you as well. So join me in greeting her. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 
Are we all looking forward to a winter white weekend? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, I just want you to know that Anthem is very proud to sp sponsor today's event. Uh, we are the leader in providing uh, health benefits uh, to many of the school systems in Virginia uh, and all the teachers across the Commonwealth. We realize the importance of being able to offer first class benefits to the teachers uh, within the state and um, be a part of this special event today. And we do want you to know that um, we do appreciate your business and your partnership. And thanks so much for having me. Thank you very much, Katrina and Anthem. Thank you, Dr. Smith and Mrs. Muggler. Okay, raise your hand if you already ate your cake. All right, I know you're hungry, so we're, let's go ahead and have lunch, and we'll be back in a few minutes with our keynote speaker. Hi, my name is Kalia, and I go to, we all go to Langley Elementary, and I'm in fourth grade, and my teacher is the best teacher anybody could have. Hi, my name is Javon Slater. I'm in fourth grade. Hey, my name is Ramazana Clement, and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Randy Sarasano, and I'm in the fifth grade. Hello, my name is Brandon Ramirez. I'm, from, I'm in the fourth grade and from Phillips Elementary School. And we are from Phillips. Hi, my name is Jermon Blackwell, and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, my name is Jaden Jackson, and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, my name is Janaya Jackson. I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, my name is Destiny Evans, and I'm in the fourth grade. And we're we from, from Tyler Elementary. My name is Honesty Henry, and a fourth grader. My name is Dominic Simmons. I'm a fourth grader. My name is Alexis Haley, and I'm a fifth grader. My name is Grace Bullard, and I'm in the fifth grade. And we're, we're from Raspberry Elementary. elementary. Hi, my name is Julian Lohr and I'm in the 8th grade. Hi, my name is Zachary Malloy and I'm in the 7th grade. Hi, my name is Alana Samuels and I'm in the 7th grade. Hi, my name is Claudia Kister and I'm in the 6th grade. Hi, my name is Jackson Bruner and I'm in the 8th grade. Hi, my name is Ariana Kister and I'm in the 6th grade. And we all go to Jones Magnet Middle School. Hi, my name is Victoria Oliver and I'm in 6th grade. Hi, my name is James Long the 4th and I'm in 8th grade. Hi, I'm Angelica Calder. I'm in the sixth grade. Okay. Hi, my name is Anastasia Jackson, and I'm in seventh grade. Hi, my name is Olivia Smith, and I'm in seventh grade. And we, we go to Lindsay Middle school. school. Hi, my name is Naylin Dudley, and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Dakari Christian, and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, I am Kelly Gray, I'm in fourth grade. Hi, I'm Elijah. I'm in the fourth grade. And we're from Cary Elementary. I'm Karan Lynch, I'm a junior. I'm Annette Johnson, I'm a senior. And we, we go, go to Bethel, Bethel High School, the, the home, home of, of academic, academic excellence. Hi, my name is Jane Naiman, and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Natalie Burton, and, I go, and I'm in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Hayden Flora, and I'm in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Amira Dennison, I'm in fifth grade. And, and we, we go to craft. Hi, my name is Moy Joseph. I'm a junior. Hello, my name is Jesus Venezuela, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Charity Austin, and I'm a sophomore. Hi, my name is Aaliyah, <laughs> and I'm a freshman. Hello, my name is Brown, and I'm a freshman. I'm Esther Bochi, I'm a senior. I'm Sharon Martino, and I'm a senior. And, and we are at Hampton High School. school. Hi, my name is Sarah Deak. I'm in fifth grade from Aberdeen Elementary. My name is Courtney Wren and I'm from sixth grade. My name is Amaya Cheese Roll and I'm in sixth grade. My name is Aubrey Blunt and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Shania Sneed and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Regina Hick Watham and I'm in seventh grade. My name is Natasha Nurse and I'm in seventh grade. And, and we're going we go to Jefferson Davis Middle School. Uh, I'm Ryan Taylor and I'm in ninth grade. My name is Angel, and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Alicia Nolan, and I'm in the 12th grade. And we 
all go to campus league. My name is Kaya and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Abigail Dalloway and I am in fourth grade. My name is Nevaeh Goodman and I am in fifth grade. My name is Elvin and Michelle and I am in fifth grade. And we all go to Cooper Elementary School. Hi, my name is Cynthia Cheatham and I'm in seventh grade. Um, hello, my name is Anna Rosal Garcia and I'm in sixth grade. Hi, my name is Jasmine and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Julia Wendell and I am in the seventh grade. Hi, my name is Hannah Bampio and I'm in the eighth grade. My name is Noah Roldan and I'm in sixth grade. And, and we, we are all go to the middle school. My name is Al Nicoletta and I am in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Michaela Lee and I'm in fourth grade. Hey, my name is Ayanna Smith and I and I am in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Tavar Smith and I am in fourth grade. And we all go to Machen Elementary. Hi, I'm Aliyah Mingan and I'm in the seventh grade. Hi, I'm Jasani Mingan and I'm in the sixth grade. Hi, I'm David Darcy and I'm in the eighth grade. Hi, I'm David Alonso and I'm in the fourth grade. Hi, I'm Moten Wai and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, I'm Destiny Spratley and I'm in the fifth grade. And we, and we go, go to Andrews pre K three. Hello, my name is Susan Sai. My name is Amaya Brathley, I'm in the fourth grade. My name is Anthony Paisley, and I'm in the fifth grade. My name is Nevada Loach, and I'm in the fifth grade. We, we all, all go to Burbank Elementary. Hi, my name is Juan Monroy Botello, and I'm in seventh grade. Hi, my name is Tashata Pono, I'm in eighth grade. Hi, my name is Sari Murray, and I'm in seventh grade. Hi, my name is Kate Lax, and I'm in eighth grade. Hi, my name is Lauren Delia, and I'm in sixth grade. Hi, my name is Tierra Moody, and I'm in eighth grade. And, and we, we are all go to middle, middle school. Hello, my name is Aaliyah Riddick, I'm in fourth grade. My name is Nakaya Pinks, and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Tynese Connor Robertson and I'm in fifth grade. And we are from Rosset Elementary. Hi, my name is Rihanna Lilly and I'm in the tenth grade. Hi, my name is Alexis Powell and I'm in the eleventh grade. Hello, my name is DeAndre Pope and I'm in the twelfth grade. Hello, I'm Jacob Wallace and I'm in the eleventh grade. And we all go to Phoebus High School. Hi, my name is Gerard Riley and I'm in twelfth grade. Hi, my name is Antoine Edwards and I'm in ninth grade. Hi, my name is Deanna McDavis, and I'm in the 10th grade. Hi, my name is Alec Hughes Dixon, and I'm in the 9th grade. And we, we go to Phoebus high, high, high School. Hi, my name is Kamora Jones, and I am in 4th grade. Hi, I'm Keegan Watson, and I'm in 4th grade. Hi, I'm Ella Figueroa, and I'm in 5th grade. Hi, I'm Blake Person, and I'm in 5th grade. 5th grade. And we go to Armstrong Elementary. Hi, my name is Demai, I'm in 4th grade. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Kamora and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, my name is Lauren and I'm in fifth grade. And, and we, we are the Smith Sharks and we are swimming to success. Hi, I'm Allison Cox from fifth grade. Hi, I'm Alicia Wilson and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Kennedy and I'm in fourth grade. And we all go to Booger Elementary. Hi, I'm, I'm Jaden Lurz and I am in fifth grade. Hi, I'm Abigail Turner and I'm in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Nayana Gasseray and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Sate Crump and I am in fourth grade. And we are Bryan Elementary. My name is Jerron Harry and I'm in tenth grade. My name is Tyler Bevington and I'm in ninth grade. My name is Edwin McCarney and I'm in eleventh grade. My name is Janice Watt and I'm in eleventh grade. My name is Queen Lee Mays and I'm in the ninth grade. My name is Hallie Crampton and I'm in the tenth grade. We are Kickatan. The home of everyday greatness is the expectation. Hi, my name is Drayvon Johnson and I am in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Charlie Hall and I am in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Jacob Cocker and I am in fourth grade. Hello, my name is Malachi Mitchell and I'm in fourth grade. And we are at Barron Elementary School. Alexandra Breen, freshman. Jacob Morris, 10th grade. Gabriella Coronado, 11th grade. Teddy Rainey, freshman. Anthony Young, sophomore. And this and is Bethel, Bethel High, High School, School, the home of academic excellence. Hi, my name is Christopher Sanders, and I'm in the 7th grade. Hi, I'm Michael Webb, and I go to the 7th grade. Hi, I'm Anna Schaefer, and I'm in the 8th grade. Hi, I'm Alyssa Bird, and I'm in eighth grade. Hi, I'm Brandon Trotter, and I'm in grade four. 
Hi, I'm Amber Fredenberg, and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, I'm Alex Hadley, and I'm in fifth grade. And we are the Spratly Gifted Center. Hi, my name is Gabriella Limes, and I'm in the eighth grade. Hi, my name is Cheyenne Drake, and I'm in the seventh grade. Hi, my name is Natalie Bertrand, and I'm in the seventh grade. Hi, I'm Heidi Rivera, and I'm in sixth grade. Hi, I'm Tanaya Morgan, and I'm in sixth grade. And we, we go to Phoenix Pre-K through eight school. Hi, my name is Caitlin Baker, and I go to, and I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Tyler Beatles, and I'm in the eighth grade. Hi, I'm Ava Mackles, and I'm in the fifth grade. Hi, I am Eric Cotto, and I'm in the fourth grade. Hi, my name is Joseph Woods, and I'm in the fourth grade. And, and we, we go to Phoenix Pre-K through eighth school. Hi, my name is Caden Hatton, I'm in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Carter Heffner, and I'm in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Ashton Billings, I'm in fifth grade. Hi, my name is Keanu White, and I'm in fifth grade. And we go to Tucker Cass Elementary School. My name is Lillian Hairston, and I'm in the fifth grade. My name is Kayla Wright, and I am in the fourth grade. My name is Angela Stukes, and I'm in the fifth grade. My name is Miss Moff, and I'm in the fourth grade. And we go to Forest Elementary School. Hello again, how was your lunch? Good, okay. If you're still eating, that's okay. It's, we're gonna let you to continue eating while we go on with our program, because I know some of you didn't have as much time as others to eat, but we do have a special guest speaker today. His name is Deputy Chief Jason Monk from the Hampton Fire Department. Chief Monk joined the fire and EMS service as a student volunteer with the Virginia Tech Rescue Squad and became, a, and became a member of Hampton Fire and Rescue in January of 1997. He has served the division as a medic, fighter, station officer, EMS field supervisor, shift, shift battalion chief, and chief medical officer. He's been instrumental in developing various health safety development and leadership initiatives, such as the division's EMS Continuous Quality Improvement Program. Of note, he was one of the first five tactical medics with Hampton Police Division Special Weapons and Tactics Team, SWAT, and assisted in the development of tactical medicine programs in other jurisdictions. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in Biology and Chemistry, from Virginia Tech and a Master of Science in Management from Troy University. He received the Chief Medical Officer designation in 2010 from Center for Public Safety Excellence and graduated from the National Fire Academy's Executive Fire Officer Program in 2014. Please give a Hampton City Schools warm welcome to Chief Monk. I'm not used to hearing people talk about me. I, I'd much rather enjoy talking about others. But I did make a joke to my friend, <clears throat> excuse me, Milton here sitting at the table that if I had to leave on an emergency, I would call his name up to come speak. He has quite a few stories. I, along with more than 300 men and women, work to serve you, your family, the citizens of Hampton, and our visitors each and every day to ensure that when you call, we're there. Sometimes we're needed as firefighters, sometimes we're needed as medical professionals, and sometimes we show up because you simply don't know who else to call. Regardless of what the call is, we're ready. I am honored to have been asked to be here with you today, a day set aside specifically to celebrate you, a day where Hampton City Schools and all of its professionals have chosen to honor those students, each of you, who have made good choices and put forth the effort to go the extra mile on a daily basis to serve others by being a good citizen. Interestingly, but not coincidentally, the fire service is made up of thousands of individuals just like you. So you're thinking, like me, I don't run into burning buildings, put out fires. That's crazy, right? Maybe it seems a little crazy, until you understand why one may choose to run in while others are running out. After all, why do you make the choices that you do? 
The choice is where you put others first, where you follow the rules expected of you, where you demonstrate compassion and respect to others, and where you do the right thing even when you may feel pressured not to. That is why you are here today. You've made those choices. The good choices you make are not always easy ones. However, we know they are the right ones to make. Very little in life that is great was found by always following the easy path. It takes hard work, the very work each of you is willing to do. Well, much like you, firefighters are good citizens first. When the fire chief looks to hire a new firefighter, what does he look for? I'll tell you, he looks for all of the traits found in a good citizen. Even the best firefighter with questionable values must stand in line behind an individual who has little to no experience in the fire service, but has grown up doing the right thing and is willing to learn. What does it even mean to be a good citizen? If you're sitting here now, you probably have a pretty good idea of what it takes. Among the other traits I have already stated, it's about doing the right thing when no one is looking, standing up for others when it's right to do so, or when they are unable to do so themselves. But how did we learn all of this? Were we born good citizens? That's probably something that could be debated at another time. But there's one thing I know to be true about that question. You are surrounded by other good citizens like your parents, your teachers, your counselors, your baseball coach, gymnastics instructor, and other countless individuals who have made the effort to teach you what it takes to be a good person. Each day, they provide you with yet another tool for your virtual toolbox to make the right choices. It's about setting the example and being the example. And the truth is, a good citizen is no different than a good person. In order to make your home, your classroom, the community, and the world a better place, you need to use all of the skills you've been taught. I've learned that although positive changes in the world are important, your focus should not be about changing the world in one fell swoop. Certainly, your actions one day may do just that. However, sometimes, actually most of the time, it's about our day-to-day -day interactions. Albert Einstein's quoted a saying, not everything that counts is counted, and not everything that is counted counts. You do the right thing simply because it's the right thing to do. The fire service is steeped in tradition, and I'm proud to say that my profession is well respected. In an article titled, The Top 10 Firefighter Traits, the author makes a very poignant statement. He said, our appearance is the first thing and sometimes the only thing people have to go with when forming an opinion. For firefighters, the way you look, the way you speak, the way you conduct yourself in public, both on and off duty, reflects on not only yourself, but your department and your profession. He also went on to say, the many generations of firefighters who preceded us left a long legacy of positive public image that we reap the benefits of. The positive public image is a big reason why the fire service and firefighters are so well respected. As a firefighter, you need to carry that torch and continue that legacy by always maintaining a public positive image. So this is no different than what is expected of you, really. When it comes to being a good citizen, you, me, we are no different. You too must carry the torch of your teachers, your parents, and other personal leaders in your life. Maya Angelou was quoted as saying, I've learned that people will forget what you've said, they may forget what you've done, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Much like in the fire service, patients may not always remember what you did, but they will always remember how you made them feel. There's one more facet of citizenship that I've yet to specifically mention. It's an important one. Being a good citizen is limited unless you give back. Much like many have done for you, you too must do for others. Well, what do you mean give back, you're saying? 
What I mean is that there are very few things in life that provide a sense of humanity and humility than giving of your time for a good cause. Create an investment in yourself and the community by becoming a volunteer. So volunteering can be awesome for a bunch of different ways. Here are a few simple reasons why. You gain new experience and insight into something you otherwise may not know anything about. You give back to others, many of which are in great need of assistance. You create important life connections with other people. You gain valuable insight into possible career choices. You feel a sense of accomplishment. And for those of you striving to attend college, it lets colleges know that you're motivated. Many of the firefighters who have chosen the fire service as their profession were once volunteers. In fact, in most places in America, when a fire breaks out, it's a volunteer that responds. According to the National Fire Protection Association, there are close to 800,000 volunteers across the United States. Almost 100 of them are right here in the city of Hampton. And the majority of this nation's geographical area is protected by volunteer fire departments. Of all the fire departments in America, 73% of them are all volunteer. It's a pretty big number, and most people didn't realize that. Firefighters, both career and volunteer, are extremely dedicated to public service. This trait explains why firefighters often take tremendous risks to save the lives of the citizens they are sworn to protect. Volunteer firefighters, because of their diverse educational and employment backgrounds, bring tremendous depth and diversity to any emergency scene based simply upon their regular jobs and expertise in their communities. In many cases, volunteer firefighters invest an enormous amount of time and dedication to firefighting, moving the fire service through improved firefighting techniques and technological innovations. But there's a problem. Volunteerism in the fire service has decreased by more than 11% since 1980. Things are no different in the Hampton Division of Fire and Rescue. We too have seen a steady decline in the number of dedicated volunteers willing to share their time. But I must say that the volunteers we do have provide an enormous benefit to you, the community, and the city. Their willingness to volunteer equates to a savings of almost a half a million dollars every year. That's a lot of money. In fact, the problem's not just isolated to the fire service. Volunteerism in general has also declined. People are dedicating less of their time to good causes, whether it's in the schools, the church, food pantry, or another worthy cause. There are several reasons for this, but regardless of the cause for the decline, we can all share in the effort to make a change for the better and do our part as good citizens. Give back, even if it is only a little bit of your time. Put your iPhone down for a couple of hours. Turn the Xbox off for a couple of hours. Do that project or that homework a little sooner than you normally would to free up some spare time to give back. Sacrifice a little of your personal time to give back to others by volunteering. Share your passion, your expertise, your skills, and yourself. Help tutor a student in science because they need just a little bit more help on cause and effect. Spend a little time with your family making food for those who have none. And of course, you can always give back to one of the most important and influential figures in each of your lives, your teacher. Your teachers, they love what they do, but their job's hard. Offer to help him or her before or after class. Nothing makes a teacher smile more than seeing their students become well-educated good people. It's very rewarding. So the ways you can volunteer are endless, and there's no better time in a person's life than to learn how to give back when you're young. Someone is always in need, and that little bit of time can equate to an exponentially greater benefit to those less fortunate, or for organizations try to do, trying to do the right thing with fewer people, like the fire service. A person who volunteers can directly impact the happiness of others. In fact, a study in social science and medicine was able to show that the more per a person volunteered, the happier they were. Now, I'm sure we can use the symmetric or transitive property to look deeper into happiness and how happy you can be. But the more you volunteer, the happy, 
the happier everyone is. So that's a good reason by itself. So I'd be foolish if I didn't gently nudge you in the direction of the fire service. The Hampton Division of Fire and Rescue is always in search of a few good men and women who are willing to serve the public. There are many opportunities for young people like you to give back right here in the city of Hampton. Much like our motto of citizens first because we care, firefighters must be good citizens first. I encourage you to continue your path of good choices. Lead by example so that others may learn from you. And thank you for allowing me to speak to you today on what is a day set aside specifically for you. Thank you. Chief Monk, thank you so much for being here today and your service to our community. I hope you like chocolate because we have a little small Absolutely. gift for you. Thank you. And before I close, there were a couple of very important people who came in uh, later. Uh, school board member Jason Samuels. <laughs> and Councilman Tuck. Did I miss anyone else? Before we close today, I just want to ask you guys for your help in no snow dances tonight, okay? So that we can have a full day of school tomorrow, right? We all on board with that? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Thanks again to our sponsors and congratulations again to our Citizens of the Month. Shortly, we will dismiss our students by bus number. So listen for your bus number. Also, many of you ask me, when am I going to be on TV? When am I going to be on TV? So if you look in your packets, there's a listing in there as to the schedule and times that this will play on uh, Channel 46. And it actually plays several times. And you can see it on the internet, too. So make sure that when you get home, uh, you give that to your mom and dad so they can make sure that they record it and watch all of our great programming on Channel 46. Thank you very much, and you all have a great day and a great wet rest of the week. And we, we hope it snows on the weekend. Thanks. Yeah.